solving a system of linear equations using substitution, example three. So our problem here says use substitution to solve the system. And I have two equations, both of them are in standard form. Well, to be able to use substitution to solve a system of equations, I need one of the equations, either in y equals or x equals form. So I'm going to have to rearrange one of these two equations. And I'm looking for the one that will be the easiest. So as I'm looking at these equations, I notice this y term all by itself, just plain y as the term in this bottom equation. And so this equation would be pretty easy to put in y equals term because the y doesn't have a coefficient and all I need to do is get rid of this negative 3x. So I could add 3x to both sides or as a kind of mental um, uh, shortcut here. I'm just going to think of this as moving the negative 3x over to the other side of the equals. But when I do that, instead of negative 3x on the left, it's going to become positive 3x on the right. So my new equation will be y equals negative 3 plus 3x. Now I have one of my equations in y equals form, and this equation is telling me that instead of y, I can interchange it with negative 3 plus 3x if I want to. So I'm going to take this expression right here, negative 3 plus 3x, and in this top equation, I'm going to substitute that in for the y. So if I rewrite this top equation, it'll be 2x minus 3, and I'm going to put a parentheses with a big space because instead of that y, I'm going to replace it with negative 3 plus 3x and then equals negative 5. Now I just go ahead and solve this equation. So the first thing I'm going to do is distribute. So 2x, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 and negative 3 times positive 3x is negative 9x equals negative 5. Then I have two x terms on the left. I'm going to combine my like terms. So 2x minus 9x is negative 7x plus 9 equals negative 5. Uh, then I'm going to zero out this constant term on the left side with the x because I'm trying to get the x by itself. So I'm going to subtract 9 and then keep my equation balanced by doing the same thing on the other side. When I simplify, I'll have negative 7x on the left and negative 14 on the right. My last step is to divide by negative 7. And when I simplify, x is equal to negative 14 divided by negative 7 is positive 2. So the x value of my solution is 2. Now I just need my y. So I'm going to use this one that tells me that y is equal to negative 3 plus 3 times whatever x is. Well, I know that x is 2. So instead of x, I'll just put in the value 2 and then simplify. So negative 3 plus 3 times 2 is 6. And negative 3 plus 6 is positive 3. So the y value of my solution is positive 3. As an ordered pair, my solution would be 2 comma 3.